Greetings all, Frog here. Let's play some Geoguess. We have been challenged. A new challenger, a new challenger has entered the field. Uh, Jillim, maybe? J-I-L-I-M, 201, has challenged us to a duel. No, not really, just a Geoguesser game. But that is what we are doing right now. Let's do it. I assume, unless someone tells me otherwise, it's a world challenge. And he did not tell me otherwise, so I assume this is a world challenge. We're going to scope out this sign first, then we'll go ahead up a little bit more to see what else we got. All right. Zurich, okay. Bulls far. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is this still okay? Yeah, it's just a little close. Let's, let's back it up a little bit. It's like we're sitting in the front row of a, of a movie. Let's, let's, let's sit in the fifth or sixth row. That's, that's where it's really the best. We're going to have to go up that close. All right. We're on the E22 and the A7. Bullsfarge, Schneek, and Gornigan. We are going to Zurich, Harlingen, and Leuvarden. That's our exit. <clears throat> a lot of windmills. The E22, Bullsfarge, Schneek, Gornigan. Well, Zurich is in, in Switzerland. Does the E22 go through Switzerland? Where? Why can I not find Switzerland? Not, there it is, because it's not labeled yet. The E22, 25, 43, 35, hike. Um... No. Okay. Where does the E22 travel? The A7. We didn't find a little spot in France here, did we? E22. 15. Answer GeoGuessr uh, complaint about small map, by the way. It wouldn't be one of my GeoGuessr challenge videos without a complaint about the map. Um, France does use the trunk road system. Do they not? Perhaps they do not. Bolsvarge Sneak Gronigan. None of these are French sounding names. Afrit 15. That, however, could be French. Let's, um, let's go back this way. See if we can get a clearer sign, maybe. Alright, the N31 a7. So we're, the N31 is leaving. There's the A7. Who else uses roads like that aside from France? No, they don't. I mean, there's a not that color. Austria. No. I think what we need to do is find the 22. Wherever the European 22 is, that's going to save us. Bullsfarge, Schneek, and Groningen. Sounds like Germany, yeah? I mean, the Netherlands could possibly be in the Netherlands. There's 232. Where is European... There's European Road 22. There's Sneak. There's Groningen. Okay. There's Leuvarden. So, our exit to the east takes us to Leuvarden. But for some reason, we still go to Groningen if we don't get off this road. Sneak, Bolsvard, Groningen. Bolsvard is this side of Sneak. You'd think it would say Horn if that were the case. Ah, because Bolsvard is smaller. Alright. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Sneaky, sneaky little devil. There's a Zurich here as well. So our exit to Zurich goes to the east. The N31, which is there. Ah, and that's how it goes off the road. Very nice. I like that. That's a very sneaky thing. You see Zurich, and immediately I'm thinking the wrong place. If I'd remembered Leuvarden, though, um, I, that might have helped. Because Leuvarden is, is a pretty large road. I missed it by 31 points somehow. That distance is 31 points? Wow, it's very unforgiving. Geo guesser. That's okay. Caution. We're parking on the left, but that doesn't mean anything. This is a one-way street, obviously. The graffiti tells me that Steffi loves Donovan. Samantha by Evie. Alright, well, you know. Seasons of love and all that. 525,600 minutes, give or take. Durante il periodo. 
para propriété privata de Brashi via San Arnaldo. We're on via San Arnaldo and Dia Brevashi. San Arnaldo. I mean, we're in Italy. Seems seems very unlikely we are anywhere else. Via San Arnaldo, via pasta. It's mm, a good idea. Formata? Should I stop? I know that from my musical training. Could also literally translate to long pause, but I think it translates directly to stop. Not 100% certain on that. What is this? I can't get to see that, which is a shame. No, I don't get a clear view either way. It's okay. It's like an old palace of some sort, maybe. Via San Arnaldo. There's a couple of cities in Italy, though, so we need a little more to go on than just that. Wow, I can't, like, click right in front of that? There we go. That's just the San Arnaldo sign. Hmm. This way here. A lot of graffiti there. Graffiti of love, though, so you know. A little clue. That billboard changed. just went that far past it. Now I'm pretty sure that billboard changed. Okay. I'm trying to get a bearing on my surroundings here. I didn't want to do that. Oh, I'd like to stay up here, please. Okay, that works for me. Not as real helpful yet. Is that a motorway? Kind of looks like it might be one. Hmm. BMW service and mini services this way. Get me down the motorway. Alright. Let me go this way here. Let's see what the uh, exit says. Doesn't. Oh, you're like a, a, a light-up sign. Okay. Yeah, that's fair. Is 40 the root designation number? I don't know. It was underneath the 70, which was the speed limit. Oh, there we go. A Fori Rusano Centro. We're going to the centro of something. Why I just said it that way, but that's that's what we're doing. We're going to the center of something. Milanese? Are we in Milan? Via Tommaso Edison. Settimo Milanese. Milanese. Could be in Milan. Never been to Milan. Hmm. Autostrada. Rusano. Medes Veso Cantu. Is Autostrada the bigger road? Like, is this not really a big road? I don't know, let's find out. I don't know what Autostrada means. I gotta go this way if I'm gonna go to the Autostrada. I don't like that answer. It's a bad answer. I want to go back to this thing. Get me back on this thing. Como meda. Hey, hey, excuse you. Excuse you. Back that thing up. A4 to Torino, Torino and Venezia. A8, A9. That's the exit. We're on the SS35, apparently. Would it make sense for us to be in Milan with all of that being true? Yes, actually it would. A4, A8, A9. There's A9. 
There's the A8, A9. I don't see the A4. There's the A4. A4 going down that way. We could be in Bergamo. But I'm going to say we're in Milan first. Let's try that for a spin. SS35. 33. 11. Zoom in on this a little bit. We're on Santa Ronaldo. <laughs> Bresso Cormano. Seems less likely Bergamo, more likely Milan. I just gotta figure out where in Milan. Well, there's the eight, the nine, and the four all together. Novate Milanese. Novate Milanese. SS thirty five going north to the about to the Milan Hmm. Hmm. Via Carlo Espinazzi, no Dei Giov Giovi. Hmm. What if like in here? I'm not sure I'm going to be able to find Arnaldo with any sort of good time. So we came kind of from here-ish. I'm just going to make that as our guess. That's, you know, it's pretty close. We actually went farther than I had thought. Yeah, San Arnaldo was, was a very small road in the uh, grand scheme of things. So what were we next to? The Biblioteca Casina Ana. It's a bed and breakfast. That's cool. I like it. Okay, we're on round three. About, averaging about six minutes, I guess. It's, it's acceptable. What do we got going on here? Lawrence Avenue East, the Donway East. Final exams. Don Mills Collegiate Institute, Don Mills Middle School. Final exams, June 13th. School begins September 8th. Have a great summer. Um, could be the United States. We do have small plates going on. Small plates in the front. We are driving on the right. So I'm looking at the rear camera. Uh, Chocolate Pleasures. I don't know what's all about that. Bonneview Towers. 416 area code is a 10-digit number. So that does seem to imply that we are in the United States or Canada. The Don Way. Too blurry. What does our bus say here? A couple of things to look at. Let's back it up just a smidge. See the apartments here. We're going to see the 416 area code again. One and two bedrooms. Lawrence Avenue East. All right, Mr. Bus. Hit me. Does that say .ca? If it's a website, it certainly would end in CA, but I can't know that for certain. Back up a bit. Bus, what's your route? Hmm, unreadable. That is the 54B, though. If you need to catch it, it's right there. Well, that's a maple leaf flag, so let's say we're in Canada. The 416 area code, that's uh, Toronto area, isn't it? I feel like it's uh, Brampton, Mississauga. I don't know that for certain, though. Might be getting confused. Likely getting confused. The shops at Don Mills. So Don Mills is something. What's going on in Toronto here? 
Brampton, Mississauga, Oakville, Burlington. Do we see Don Mills as a, as a town? I don't think so. Of course, the problem with the Toronto area is it is fairly large. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to need to find a state route. So let's just keep going down. Street. See, the, the thing, of course, is that it's not like these people are going to need to know what city they're in. We're in a city. So they all know. The, the catch would be is if we came to a city limit, there might be a sign indicating the limits of the city. Because Brampton is not Toronto, for instance. Still driving along Lawrence. True Mobile Wind. Go Unlimited. Data talking. Global text. Wow. I've got a friend in Toronto who keeps complaining about having to use a non-texting application. But there, you get free global text. You're in. Okay. Senior Citizen Crossing. The Toronto Public Library. So, yes, 416 is indeed Toronto. He's got to figure out where in Toronto. Avenue, obviously. Hmm. Make it a mathnasium summer. That does not sound fun. The shops at Don Mills. Obviously, it's a fairly large shopping complex. The Donway and Lawrence. So that's how we're still Donway. It's like this loop around Lawrence. Alright, um, wow. Uh, Toronto is just so big. And the screen is just too small. Since it's the Toronto Public Library proper, I don't think we're too far out. Like, to go past Clarington, I think, would be a stretch. Toronto proper. Hmm. I don't see any of these streets that we were looking for. Of course, it's so bloody small. The shops at Don Mills seems like a, a bougie little suburban type of idea, doesn't it? Like the Aaron Mills Town Center. It just sounds like a bougie idea. Um, where are the bougie areas of Toronto? I don't know, honestly. Not really been one of my big concerns. Um, well, I know Waterloo is like 40 minutes outside of Toronto proper. Um... I'm going to say Brampton. Oh, no, that can't be right. I'm just going to punt and put it in the middle of downtown Toronto. All right. They're pretty close. There's Don Mills Road. Lawrence Avenue. The CF shops at Don Mills. The Don Way. Because it is a loop. The Don Way. Oh, we're next to. Don Mills Collegiate Institute. Don Mills Middle School. So it is. All right. In a plus. Calle Dorandia. Well, then I think we're in Mexico or Spain. It's very, very close. Basically the same thing. This uh, should help us remarkably. Uh, that's horrible to read. And that's blurred out. La de Vallava, Pamplona. Running of the bills, yeah? Waste. Reunia, Francia. Victoria Garcia, San Sebastián, Donastia, Alzoan, Casco, Antigua. Antigua. Let's go through. Let's see if we can get some better signage. That's not what I wanted. I still wanted to be in the loop because I want to read that thing. There we go. PA30. PA is Pamplona, obviously. So where is Pamplona, Spain? Pamplona. There it is. 
All right, PA30. Here's the PA30. Just did a bit of a roundabout. I think we just did this roundabout. But where did we start? Turn the start location. We are going this direction into the roundabout. We're going north into the roundabout. But we weren't on this, so that's not exactly our roundabout. Looks like this could be the roundabout right here. We're in the NA2310. We come up, we're going underneath a walking bridge, which doesn't really help. There's a road. Come up to our roundabout. That way is that. This way is the NA4244. So that's not where we are. Let's see if we can't find some other roundabouts in the NA4244. PA30. PA30 does not go on the other side. Hmm. I mean, we're right around here, yeah? can't be that far off if we just put it right in the middle of it. I mean, we could be if we're on the other side of the PA-33, or the PA-30. That's okay, close enough, as they say. Hmm. No, I can see it, but I can't... I don't understand where it's from, basically. Um, we do see what appears to be a, a, an American-style road marking. So, you know, we're thinking we're somewhere in the North or South Americas. I see, is that miles per hour? Yeah. So we're in the United States. It's just a question of where. It's a Macy's, of course. You can put me right by the mall. You're going to stereotype the Americans. That's sarcasm. I actually couldn't care. Americans like to shop. A lot of people like to shop. Standalone Macy's, though. It's interesting. You don't see that very often these days. A big K. You don't see those at all. Standalone or otherwise. There are very few of those left. That's crazy. All right. Where are we? Other than the United States. Road work. On a Kenda Hokole Highway? Federal project. Well, we've got to be on Hawaii then, right? I mean, Ked Kedakalole? If that's not a Hawaiian name, I would be amazed. Queen Ka yeah, we're on Hawaii. Now the question is, are we on Hawaii or are we on a different island? Hollywood Theaters. Uh, rave cinema, isn't it? I don't know. Hollywood's not independent anymore, though. That much I remember. So, which island are we on? Queen Ka'ahumanu. Ahumanu. Queen Ka'ahumanu. Sports Authority. It's crazy. It's the United States, but it's Hawaii. It is a very different world. Hawaii than it is on the continent. A friend of ours actually just moved to Hawaii. She's doing some mission work, I think. 
like she's in a not like mission converting the, the heathens but like um, I think she works with people going through uh, substance abuse problems and like uh, mental health and all that business run helps with a commune or something not like a commune but like a like a live-in recovery place that they they work the land and all that business I have no idea which island we're on but we're in Hawaii uh, I'm not sure how you can figure out I mean obviously you could get the state route number and all that business but Queen Ahawanu Ka'ahamanu Um, it's not a perfect score challenge, so I'm going to take the quitter's way out. And I think we're just on Hawaii. Statistically speaking, we have the better chance of that. We're just over by Hilo. Oh, we were over by Kailua Kona. Cool. Yeah, that was cool. I liked it. It was a very interesting challenge. First, first a time a challenge from Jilem. Jilem? I don't know. Let me know how you pronounce your name, but Jilem 201. Oh, I'm stretching. It feels good. If you'd like to send in a challenge just like Jill, uh, you can go ahead and send that to frog at purplefrogplace.com or send me a private message on YouTube or Facebook. Any of those methods will uh, get it to my inbox and we will get you on the schedule. Thank you for sending this one in, Jill. I hope you continue sending more. It was very interesting. Got to a lot of uh, cool places. And I hope all of you out there enjoyed this one. If you did, click the like button. Consider subscribing to the channel to stay updated everything as it happens. And until next time, cheers.